All right, so shin splints happen because we don't load equally the front and the back of the, of the shin, all right? So this is the anterior tibialis. This bigger muscle out is the gastroc, and then there's this muscle that's intrinsic, and it's the soleus. And the, certain things happen when we use them, and a lot of the times uh, it's gait that's not right. But I can't fix gait, I can't see you. What I can fix is the mechanics maybe of the movement that can help you, right? So before you even run, or before you even do anything, I want you to learn this. It's called articulation, okay? So automatically I started the shift. You just come up onto your tippy toes. All four, the, the both corners of your feet, all right? So the big toe to the little toe, that pad, under the toes, not the pad on the toes, but this pad, right? So these are the toes, and then there's this. I should know the name of it, but get that equally on the floor. It's kind of hard, you'll find. Now see how I'm leaning? Because it's a little uncomfortable for me. So always maintain perfect posture, hips forward, shoulders, hips. See that break? I don't want that, breathe. And you just, it's like a tiptoe, but you don't go onto the tiptoe. Put it down and switch. Breathe. One, one thousand, two. So now your knee, keep it in line with your hip. A lot of the times you'll see people do this internal and external rotation of the knee, opposite of the hip. But keep the knee in line with the hip. Keep the knee in line with the hip. All right, three. So now there's a bunch of things we can do. You can do motion with it, right? You can shift, right? You can shift all the way to the tippy toe or not but just stay here for now and just kind of warm up your ankles it's called articulation if you have hip stuff this will help it too because it kind of fires this whole ankle uh, hip ankle glute connection right so we did this now we got to do something that most people don't do and it's this right we're here just waking up that thing i want you to go behind I want to stretch, and I want to put on stretch the tibialis. If they spend all their time, those front, these front muscles, spend all their time clenched when you're moving because we just don't use them um, equally. We don't stretch and strengthen, okay? So see how I'm holding on? You don't have to. But you stabilize on one leg, so stabilize on your left leg, perfect posture, breathe in come to the top of the toe and then roll to the top of the foot and then I want full extension see this right your knees not bent I don't want this which you can do that after but right now I just want you to straighten it and you'll feel if your psoas is a little tight it's gonna want to be like and pull you forward breathe it's funny because I woke up this morning and I have a little bit of a backache breathe really get into that right so go and do Tip your toe 10 times, hold for two seconds and repeat and switch behind you, right? So I, I call this top of the foot, no more shin splints. But notice, see how I'm bending? Look in the mirror, pay attention. I want this leg fully extended, perfect posture. I don't want your shoulders on that belly button. So you go one, 1,000, two, bend this leg a little bit. A little bit of ballet, breathe, right? That's part one to get a little deeper, but I want you, now make sure you're on all four corners of the front of the foot. So here's my front of my foot. Here's the big toe, here's the little toe. You'll find, especially, you wanna roll in most of the time. You want it towards the big toe. But what I want you to get is all equal. And then I want you to do just a very subtle squat and bring all right, and then I want you to go to tippy toe back. Come up, tippy toe, down. Okay, so I just kind of put right there. This is called no more shin splints. You come up here, switch. If you want to play like this, come back, switch, play. Okay, right? So now just because I did this side, I have to do this side. <clears throat> so when you're here, and now I want you to come here. All four corners, come down, bend. But I went right to bend on this side, sorry. Come full extension. Hold it straight behind you, lift. 
little loose. You know, got to get used to it. If your foot cramps up, you'll find it might. Huh? If you have shin splints, it's going to hurt a little, but it's going to help. Okay. Breathe. So here, I'm just kind of messing it. I'm making sure when I squat, I'm not squeezing on this side. So now I'm going to go a little deeper because I want to get, and now I'm going to drop back. Tippy toe. We roll to the top of the foot. Give me a little bit of a squat. Ultimately, you want to get that as low as you can. Come back and then flatten that heel. So really good hand in. See? Now, even though I'm leaning a little forward, my shoulder's in line with my hips. And I'm holding on. Don't be afraid to. That's good. The offset stretch is a standing hamstring. You can also do a kneeling half split. For me, I like to just be up. And I like to just be up stretching. I want to be up stretching, right? You'll see me maybe at the end of the night laying on the ground. Um, like just to stretch out because I'm sore. All right, so I flex, I quad set, butt moves back, flat back forward. This knee is a little bit of a bend and I'm doing this hamstring stretch. Grab that, really make sure you flex that foot. While you're doing that, that's when you can kind of get into what I call the trigger points. <clears throat> and you'll find it. Sorry, voice has a frog. So breathe though. Drink some water. I'm trying to get it all into a quick tape. But sit back, right? You do full extension always. Always watch your alignment. I always check my alignment. The first thing is I have to fix it because we're all crooked, okay? Look at the leaning tower of pizza. On flex go in and you'll see it's this muscle here, all right, it becomes prominent. And you want to kind of just grab and push in with your hands while you run and you'll feel a spot that really hurts. And when you do, rub it, just rub it, okay. You also can believe it or not, this, okay, this kind of part where the bone and the muscle meet and you can feel it. <clears throat> it's angular, it's the softer part. Like relax your foot, this is not on the stretch. Push in and you just right there, you'll feel it all the way down your whole foot. <clears throat> Sorry, but you'll, right? And I'm not going in a circle, I'm just kind of pushing so I can feel and find and figure out all the prominent things that you need that I'm talking about. Like this is the gastroc. But feel for the bone. And if you have just doing this and with shin splints, it's going to feel good. And then you'll find a particular spot for me for whatever reason. And you don't have to be down on the ground. You can have the foot up. But it's going to go on stretch a little. But right here, right? Just, ooh, that feels good. Find that. Find that spot right there. So you always go with the muscle, with the grain of the muscle. <clears throat> so... You have a knot in my hair, my hair right right now. It's curly. I'm not a big brusher of hair because it's so curly, right? So I get knots and I got to get them out. Now, if I took my hair and I did this, it's just gonna be a big rat's nest, okay? And that looks kind of cool. But what I want to do is I want to pull. I want to pull and I want to pull in small pieces. Like I'll run my fingers from my hair all at once. All right, right there, it's tight. If I do that, I'm just going to be constantly pulling it. But if I do this and I start maybe from the bottom, okay, and I go through, go through, look at, see how smooth that just got? Same thing. So maybe either listen to me and go straight up and down, straight up and down with this, with your shin, it's this, okay? Um, <clears throat> or go online, triggerpoints.net. And they show you the muscle, and you can see the grains. It's drawn the direction. You always go the direction of the muscle, all right? So that's my no more shin splints. If I threw too much at you, let me know. Text me. Um, but do each part. Do this part, this part, and then the combination move. No more shin splints. So it's three. At least one set of ten, and hold it for ten seconds. And then let me know how it works out at the trigger point. You can use a ball for trigger point. Um, and then 
even though like a lot of the times I want you to come up into here but this way you come in sideways into that gastroc so you're gonna find um, the trigger points in this calf as well all right namaste